What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Before we start with today's video, I want to talk to you about our sponsor, Frankenstein Creations. Now, right now, if you use code Easter22, you can get 12% off all masks. That is right, folks. You heard that correctly. If you use code Easter22 for this week, you get 12% off all their masks right now. Which, if you guys don't know, their masks are actually sculpted, molded, and airbrushed all by them. Run by brothers Garrett and Steen with the help of their friends Alex and Justin. These brothers actually make haunt related things for scare actors by scare actors. We're talking masks, clacker gloves, you name it, they have it. Anything to do with your haunt horror related things for the Halloween season, they create. So check out FrankensteinCreations.BigCartel.com for 12% off this week using code EASTER22 at checkout. And a very big thanks to our sponsor, Frankenstein Collections. Now enjoy the video. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a cool minute since we did a haunt update, so let's let's get together. Let's do a haunt update, and we got a lot to talk about. Lots of construction happening at Halloween Horror Nights. Tickets are on sale for another Halloween Horror Nights, and Midsummer Scream announces all 16. Wait, the tickets are already on sale? For Orlando, yes. Oh, Orlando. Okay, you got me excited. I was we'll like, oh, I that. need to buy my we'll need to buy to my that. Hollywood ticket. Yeah, bro. we'll get to that. Don't worry, we got you. We got you. All that, all this, and more in today's video. All the info you need to know about haunt season 2022 thus far. So here we go, keeping it real on the West Coast here in SoCal. We got a lot of lot of updates coming out of the the box right now with HHN 2022 Hollywood. Starting off with construction in the Parisian courtyard is moving swiftly, and it's rumored to be La Llorona. Um, La Llorona's uh, been at the event many times before, a great solid maze, and from the facade layout, as we can see, it's looking like the curse of, or not the curse of La Llorona, but La Llorona, um, uh, which was a phenomenal maze. Sammy, I know you're a big fan of La Llorona, so what you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, I'm definitely just looking forward to uh, watching you be scared because I know that you'll be scared. Yeah. Um, I'm, I won't. will be scared. I will, I was about to say I was going to be scared too. Okay. I wasn't going to leave you alone in this one. So we're going to be scared together. Yes. Cool. I'm I'll be it. walking through like this. Yeah. Just and every time she pops out, you'll be like, Lachona! Lachona, baby. And then we're going to play some Lachona while we're in the maze. And, you know, it's going to be a fun time. I, I'm excited. Uh, that construction's already beginning. Obviously, this is only April, and uh, we're five short months away. So I'm really excited to see the progression. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited. Very excited. i um, looking forward to that. Mummy Q continues to look like a mummy movie as far as the maze goes. Yeah. This facade is looking like the Museum of Antiques famously seen in the uh, Brendan Fraser mummy movies. Um, uh, that's what people are speculating it is right now, Universal Monsters. And to confirm that Universal Monsters is making a return, Slash accidentally leaked his own maze as he is now recording the music for this year's Universal Monsters maze. As to what the theming is, we are not official on yet, but the rumor and speculation is it is Universal Monsters of the Mummy. So the Mummy might be getting its own maze this uh, year at Halloween Horror Nights 2022 with a new Slash original score. So I'm very excited that Slash is returning. If anyone knows, Slash has been at the event now for a few years, uh, starting with his own original maze, Clowns 3D, which he did all the score for. And then when they brought Universal Monsters in in 2018, he came back and returned and did the score for that one. Frankenstein meets the Wolfman and... Personally, my favorite out of the trilogy uh, so far, even though Universal Monsters has a very special place in my heart, The Bride of Frankenstein lives. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, that was a good maze. I, I really enjoyed it. Story and everything. I'm just still in awe that you thought it was better than Frankenstein and the Wolfman. That was, <laughs> that was legendary. Did you really like Frankenstein and the Wolfman? Hell yeah, I did. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, back to the back to the mummy queue. Um, yeah, I'm ex super excited for the mummy because um, I definitely think uh, it has a ton of potential um, to haunt our nightmares. And <laughs> slash leaking it was really funny. And the other thing that I thought was really funny, I, I don't know, I forget if we've touched on it. There was like a clip that came out, and someone was filming inside of the construction, <laughs> and they got the Sphinx, which I thought was hilarious. Oh, but it's like, oops. Who, one, who's recording in there too? Who's going to record and post that? 
Yeah. Um, and I want to know how it was when they got fired because <laughs> that well, was terrible. <laughs> Listen, since we're on the conversation of leaking things, let's talk about our next artist who's going to be supposedly rumored to be coming to the event this year, which is... Ladies and gentlemen, The Weeknd. Uh, the Weeknd has been... Uh, ever since the, the speculation map came out, I don't know if The Weeknd thought that was the actual map or, or what's going on, but ever since that happened, The Weeknd has been teasing his own walkthrough attraction this year at Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, and it's speculated also in Orlando as well. Um, but someone, I guess, recently talked about his, uh, or he, he talked about his video getting flagged down or something like that. And I guess he said something on the long line. I guess, I guess the people at Halloween Horror Nights are starting to recognize or something like that. And though, and it's something in those terms, but he pretty much accidentally leaked that he, he's coming to Halloween Horror Nights, which, uh, we both know how I feel about it. Um, but how do you feel about it? I'm excited, actually, because I feel like every time, no offense to the, the, the Horror Nights community, you can come for my head. I don't really care. Um, but I feel like every time the Horror Nights community is like, oh, this is about to suck. Like, sometimes they're right. I'll give them that. But I think other times they've been pleasantly surprised. And you, the thing that first comes to my mind is Ghostbusters. Because I feel like a lot of people were dogging on that maze. I think you and I in... were like the only two that I know that were really for it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, everyone was like, oh, I don't know how it's I It's comedy. It's a comedy. Like, yeah. It's not really I was like, But it's like got a lot of horror elements into it, which is what yeah. made it fun. Yeah. And I don't think it was the scariest maze of 2019. But I definitely think it was one of the top three mazes of that year. Or at worst, top five, but there was a lot of good bases that year. Right. Um, and I definitely think the weekend has the potential to do that. Uh, I definitely think it's a it's a nice change of pace. Um, I mean, I, I don't want Texas Chainsaw Massacre, House of a Thousand Corpses every year. Um, so I, I definitely think changing it up and um, allowing different properties to come in there is, is a fun thing. Yeah, for sure. I mean... We all know how I feel music-wise about things, but at the same time, I'm not one to not try something out. So it's like it, when it comes to HHN, if it does come to HHN, I, I'm not going to not go through it. It's like as a fan, I got to see what it's like afterwards. Like I, I, I was, I think I was one of the biggest shit talkers of Billie Eilish getting amazed. But at the same time, it's like I'm still going to go through it because I got to see if I like it or not. Maybe it proves me wrong. You know, so maybe this maze, I mean, I'm not a big fan. I like the, I like like one or two songs from the weekend, but... I, I, I just I I've always thought that metal and other, you know, like rock and stuff translated more well in a maze than than pop really did. But I could be proven wrong if it's coming this year. So only time will tell uh, until we get an official announcement, though. We will find out. Um, but it's looking like the weekend might be coming to HHN 2022. Yeah, and it'll be 10 out of 10 if we walk in there. And at one point it says, ladies and gentlemen. The weekend. The weekend. It's it's a, it's actually Daniel Craig too. Like he comes out. They got him to work yeah. the entire season. They paid him a lot of money. That's all of HHN's budget right there. So expect a lot of black walls because that you know they had to hire Daniel Craig. So, um, but uh, to finish up HHN twenty two construction, uh, Curious George lot is the first one that we saw go up and and start construction on, and it's looking very well. It's looked like they got the, all the walls inside up. I think it's just a matter of now decorating the interior, um, painting. Uh, adding props and, and and then after I think the very last things they do is sound and lights. Um, but the facade is looking good. It is rumored right now to be a scarecrow original, which I guess originated from Orlando. So I'm excited to see what we can do with that same property and just kind of um, make it a Hollywood version of it. Or if they're going to go loyal to what Orlando has done, um, we'll see how they do their take on it. But this should be fun. I know a lot of people are speculating this is either scarecrow or nightmare on Elm street, three dream warriors, Personally, I would love to see Dream Warriors, but if we don't get Dream Warriors, I am 100% fine with an original because I, I've and you and I have said this many times. We need more originals at HHN Hollywood. So, I concur that we need more originals. More and originals. I definitely think, uh, just off the top of my head, and you can you can add more to my memory, um, but like Curse of Pandora's Box original. What right. other originals were there? Um, Curse of Pandora's Box Clowns was an original 3D. That was the Slash Maze. Yeah. Um, if you want to, I mean, technically, Universal Monsters is an yeah. original. It's based off IPs, but they're doing their own kind of stories with them. Um, Liarona has been an original. El Kakui, yeah. you know. Yeah, but I, like, so like Liarona, El Kakui, I think those have been highly 
uh, rated mazes previously. Obviously, right. Curse of Pandora's Box. I don't really... I heard more people talk bad about it at second year just because they were like, oh, we want something else. Right. But the first year, I didn't hear anyone talk bad about that. And I definitely think that Scarecrow has that same potential of being a, a top echelon uh, maze. Um, and I'm excited. Um, I like when there's something different. Uh, I Like I said, I don't want Texas Chainsaw Massacre, House of a Thousand Corpses, um, and all of these other repeat mazes. Um, I definitely like something different, a new spin. Um, and I definitely think that the creative team over at Horror Nights has the ability to do some amazing things. And so I'm excited. I'm excited. And I, I hope to be pleasantly surprised at how great it'll be. 100%. I'm looking about probably summer, <laughs> this summer, to hopefully get into the parks, get uh, live footage of updates for you guys. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we're kind of already planning it, Hunter and I. So uh, you may see Hunter in some update vlogs or whatnot. Um, so we'll see that, uh, going on to the East coast, our friends over at the East coast, cause we got many friends over there. Um, universal Orlando HHN, uh, which has another solid speculated lineup. Um, tickets are on sale right now. Uh, so you better hurry up and get them before they run out because I'm already hearing days are already selling out for opening weekend, <laughs> opening weekend. Exactly. So if you are looking to go to HHN Orlando opening weekend, you better hope you can get yourself a ticket because they are selling out quick. And uh, I had a great time last year. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to go this year. I mean, money is, you know, it's money. So, uh, and and things are expensive right now. But if I can get out there, I can. If I can't, it's okay. Maybe we'll do it a buy a buy yearly thing. I'm just glad I made it out for the 30th. So that was fun. So, yeah, get your tickets now on sale. Uh, go check out what works best for you. Um, general mission, front of the line, uh, RIP tours, you know, you name it. They probably have it. Hotel packages, all that fun stuff. Um, Midsummer Scream, and we just did a video on this recently. If you guys, uh, if you guys been keeping up with the channel, we just did a whole breakdown of all the maze and attractions that are coming to the Hall of Shadows um, for the uh, summer 2022 convention. Uh, they announced all 16 mazes that will be in the um, Hall of Shadows, or should I say, I think 17 attractions total. Um, yeah. And we have more details, and we break down the synopsis and give our reactions on another video. So go check that out. But it's looking like it's going to be a stack lineup this year of uh, home haunts and, and walkthrough attractions. And we're just we're super stoked to uh, see what they have in store this year. Uh, we've always said horror, uh, the um, the home haunt industry is is on a pro level. A lot of these ones that we go to, and they fucking shock us every single year of what they can build in their front yards their backyards their garages you know it's 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 nuts to see um what they can build in, in the very little space that they have so definitely go support them midsummer scream weekend we highly suggest it and the last thing i want to talk about which is not written on this but i've been seeing a lot of advertisements for it so i feel like we need to talk about it because i had a great time going through it and i know you've been to this haunt once before reign of terror Halfway to Halloween event is coming in a few weeks, uh, and it's going for just one weekend, I believe. Um, I think the end of April, which I sadly probably won't be able to make. Or I think it's next week, actually. Next weekend. It's the day. It's the day. It's the day, I think. It might be, yeah. I think it's next weekend. Um, but anyway, they're doing two days. It's called their Halfway to Halloween event. Um, if you guys love... Uh, you know, obviously getting your haunt fixed outside of haunt season. Uh, this is basically a walkthrough attraction. It goes for roughly about 30 minutes. It's multiple mazes put in one. Um, so it, once you start, you start and you go all the way through to different um, themed rooms, uh, different three themed parts of the rooms, and they tell their own unique stories, which was honestly one of the best haunts I've ever been to um, as far as detail-wise goes and whatnot. So I'm very excited to see uh, what they have in store for halfway to Halloween this year. Have, unfortunately, not made it out during the Halloween season. You got the dates, I'm assuming. So what you got? Yeah, April 22nd, the 23rd, 7, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Jans Marketplace in Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks, you can catch, catch the uh, Reign of Terror halfway to Halloween. Yeah, uh, I think we have I, 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 I've been talking to some people. I know I know Rob wants to go, um, so I may be tagging along with Rob. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I like I said, I did this last year uh, for the first time ever, and it was a lot of fun. I actually met some people out in Orlando who were from California, and one of the people that I was talking to actually worked the Reign of Terror haunt, so that's really cool as well. Um, small world, really. Um, yeah, and just so you guys are aware, uh, regular admission is $30. Um, and so you can buy those tickets online. 
um, or um, on the day of, you can buy them. Uh, box office opens at 6.30. Parking's free. Um, and if you don't want to wait in line, they do have a immediate access front of the line option, but that is $55. Right. Um, honestly, dude, I did general mission. I mean, depending on how patient you guys are, I did general mission, and we were in line just kind of BSing. They were playing some good heavy metal music and showing some promos of the, of the previous year, so it was really cool to just be there in that vibe and just have something to do in April of all of all things because you know us. We, we celebrate Halloween year-round uh, here on the Nights of Horror, so yeah. Um, but that's really about it for uh, what Haunt Season is looking like so far. Another update for you guys. Just wanted to keep those going. That way you guys are in the know of things. Um, so tune in next time when we have another update. We will probably be getting updates pretty soon now. We're getting closer and closer to um, Haunt Season and Midsummer Scream. So definitely keep your eye out for uh, uh, future updates because we will be uh, getting together taking our notes and giving you the best detailed uh, news that we possibly can here. Um, and yeah, we love each and every one of you. Be sure to check us out on Twitter at Knights of Horror, Instagram at The Knights of Horror. Give, give this video a like, leave some comments down below of what you think is going on with Haunt Season 2022. Subscribe to the channel with that bell notification be aware every time we put up a new video. And special thank you to our sponsor, Frankenstein Creations. Go check them out right now. With all that being said, my name's Anthony. Boy, Sam. And we are the Knights of Horror, and we'll see you guys real soon.